Good morning. I'm back home and it is very cold. Have you ever considered what is the most important shot in golf? I certainly have and I keep coming to the same conclusion. It's this. It's four feet for your par or even your birdie or even a bogey but it comes down to this. This is worth a long drive down the middle and if I miss it the tap in is worth a long drive down the middle. I think this is the most important shot in golf. And this is what I practice all the time on the putting green. You won't see me out here batting a couple of golf balls backwards and forwards for 20 feet. You'll see me here. I measure off a putter length plus a grip, just about 44, 45 inches. This is what I practice all the time. As you can see, if you miss, it isn't half going to make a difference to your score. And I really ought to shut up while I'm practicing, shouldn't I? You see, how many putts do you hole in a round of golf outside four or five feet? Three, four, maybe five. So you're going to have Every round of golf, 14 putts inside four feet. All right, some of them will be tap-ins, but an awful lot of them are going to be knee knockers. Now, if you get nervous over these, or you think they are knee knockers, it's very simple. You haven't practiced enough, have you? As I say, this is what I do all the time. It's not bad considering I haven't had a putter in my hand for 51 days. I haven't played golf at all since I got back. Sorry? That's quite alright that I missed. Ah, the joy of having a camera. See, this is what I do constantly all around the hole and I'll usually find a green that's got a bit of slope on it so I'm going across the slope, down the slope, into the slope, whatever and I will do this for hours over over a month you know I will put hours into this I'm not going to put hours in now because normally you do this in the 15 minutes before your tea time but when I'm out in Thailand this is the only putting I go and do, is four footers. I want the confidence. And the great thing about having confidence inside four feet is that it extends out to five, six, eight, or even 10 feet. So I'm just over double length now and I really do expect these to go in. They are a little bumpy though so this time of year they don't go in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, these things aren't going straight, are they? 
finally. So even when I'm out at eight, nine, ten feet, if the green's smooth and it's not winter, I expect them to go in. This is what confidence does. Now you might have noticed that I'm reasonably good at lag putting and chipping. And there's a very good reason for this. It's because I'm so relaxed over it. The reason I'm relaxed over it is because I am not aiming at a four and a quarter inch hole. I'm aiming at a circle that's eight feet in diameter. That's 50 and a quarter square feet. That is my target. Now if I can't hit that, I can't hit a barn door with a banjo, can I? So this confidence that I gain here from, co from constant practice extends all the way out to a 45 foot putt or even a 30 yard chip. 30 yard chip and run with a nine iron. I'm not aiming at the hole. I'm aiming at 50 and a quarter square feet. This is why this is the most important shot in golf because the confidence spreads all the way outwards even all the way back to the tee i mean you don't have to knock the cover off with of the ball with a driver if you can walk up to a putt like this and just knock it in one-handed or backhanded because you just know it's going in so I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are, what you think is the most important shot in golf. Cheerio.